Hey guys, so our boy Attack on Air tagged me in another anime tag video. I have six exams to write. Kill me. The gods were kind, however, and allowed me a small little break where I had time to make this video. So yeah, like I said, Attack on Eric tagged me in the dankest anime tag, which sounds pretty amazing, so I'ma friggin' do this. First question is, how old were you when you started watching anime? Okay, if we're talking Pokemon, I was probably like seven. I mean, people don't usually count Pokemon, because, you know, they just like watch it every now and then when it came on TV when they were a kid. But I was freaking hardcore into Pokemon, okay? We had a video store nearby every single week. We would go there and rent movies, and they had like all the Pokemon DVDs from like the beginning of the series all the way up to the current stuff. And I freaking rented all of them, and I watched almost every single episode of Pokemon until I was up to date with the stuff that was airing on TV. And I believe when I started watching it on TV, it was like in the advanced challenge part of the series and then I watched it religiously when I was a child up until about Diamond and Pearl because I think that was when Pokemon went over to Cartoon Network the voice actors changed and I wasn't really feeling Diamond and Pearl. However I did go back to the series when the Sinnoh League arc was happening because that shit was pretty hype. If we're talking about all this crap however it was about two and a half years ago I was uh, 15 at the time. Uh, if you don't know the story I went to PAX East that year I got Persona 4 Golden my favorite game of all time. It led me to watching the Persona 4 anime. I was very underwhelmed by it. I didn't feel like it did the game justice, so I'm like, man, I want to watch some better anime now, so I did, and here we are. Next question is, what inspires you to keep doing YouTube? I've said multiple times before, it's mostly the support from you guys that inspires me to keep making videos and to keep improving. But a lot of times it's the manga that I'm reading that inspires me to make videos, because I'll like be reading an awesome manga, I'll be like, yo, I really, really want to talk about this. More people need to read Vinland Saga. Pre-order book 8. So yeah, a lot of times I just really want to get my thoughts out on something, and it's definitely one of the things that motivates me to make YouTube videos. Next question is, what is your favorite genre of anime? Don't matter, as long as it ain't shit. Like, I could bring up something like Helsing Ultimate, which was friggin' awesome, and I could say, well, I like Helsing, so I love horror anime, but then someone will be like, you like horror anime, does that mean you like Future Diary? And then after washing the blood off my hands, I'd think, Oh yeah, maybe some people will get the wrong idea from this. So I'ma just say, I don't care what genre it is, as long as it is a good series. Question four is, what is your favorite kind of video to make? This is a really interesting question, because there are a lot of things I like about making videos. I really like making the pickups videos. They don't take very long to make, but I really love showing you guys the new things that I've added to my collection, and talking about them, sharing some of my experiences with them. Really awesome. And it is a shame that I haven't been able to do much recently. However, pickup videos will return at the end of this month. It's going to be awesome. I got a great pickup video ready. There's going to be a lot more stuff later on in the summer. This next one, it's mainly just going to be updates to series that I've started to fall a bit behind on. However, I will actually be picking up one new complete series, which I'm really excited for. So you can look forward to that and enough of the shameless advertising. I love making my full series reviews because I love just, you know, reading a complete series, analyzing it, telling you guys what I liked and what I didn't like about it. Making the intros and editing the videos are always a super fun time. I also really like adding extra comedy bits into, you know, any of my videos even the ones you wouldn't expect to have them. If you're not entirely sure what I'm talking about, if you see my new Attack on Titan review, no spoilers, but there was a one part where I cut away and do like this crazy montage thing that's horribly insensitive and I'm going to hell for it, but I freaking love doing those. The final question is if I have any friends outside of YouTube who are interested in anime and manga. Yeah, I have one really good friend who watches a lot of anime, probably more than me, especially because I haven't watched anime in a while. Fun fact, the bastard's actually been mooching off my Crunchyroll account for the past year. When I go to renew it, however, he is going to start paying for half of it. Question also asks if they got me into anime, and no, not really. We both sort of got into anime by ourselves, and then we just recommend series to each other. I remember last summer I recommended Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood to him, and he finished the whole thing in like three friggin' days. I have another friend who's not like really big into anime. I know she's only seen like a few series, but she's worth bringing up because she did introduce me to Attack on Titan, which as you know is a pretty big part of this channel. Alright, so those were all the questions for this tag video. As per usual, I am going to tag every person watching this video. If you want to make a video response to this, then please say so in the comments, because I would love to see it. Now, this was a pretty YouTube-centric anime tag, a lot of questions revolving around being a YouTuber. However, if you don't make videos and just wanted to answer the non-YouTube questions in the comments, then that would be awesome too. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you when these hellish exams end, and we can finally begin the summer.